All right, welcome back to the channel. It's another snow foam challenge. And I'll tell you what, this one's another good one now. I've been saving this one too because again, I bought this product, I used quite a bit of it, and it's pretty good. So I, I want some contenders here. I want something to beat Adams, man. At some point, sometime, I want something to take Adams down. And per viewer recommendation, I brought in a Gion product. It's Gion Q2M foam. Now this stuff is highly recommended by a lot of people. It does a really good job. And um, I gotta say, I'm happy with it so far and I've used it several times. I'm not happy with that smell though, man. <laughs> I mean, it's like, when I put it up to my nose, I'm like, I, I'm never gonna be like, hey, can I get another whiff of that? No, I'm gonna be like, what is that? Like, so <laughs> in terms of smell, mediocre at best, man. I'm gonna say that Adams blows it away in the smell. So is smell everything? No, of course it's not. That's just one of the many items. We're looking for thickness on the paint, slickness on the paint, ease of use, cleaning power, and overall enjoyment, including smell. And the smell's not here on this one, guys. I'm gonna call it. It's definitely not that amazing, you know, floral cherry smell out there in the parking lot just making you super happy, you know what I mean? It's not. All right, so let's talk about the Gion foam. And uh, basically that checked in at $80 for 135 ounces. Now, man, that's a lot. And uh, the product on the label calls for six ounces which equals about $3.55 per wash, man. Now, I know some people are gonna go, Jeremy, you don't have to use that, that's a recommended. I know, you can cut it down, but again, I'm, I'm trying to do this contest on per the labeled recommendations, that gives us a consistent look at the value, the amount of foam you're getting at that price point, and all the other things I'm describing too. So, per label, six ounces, $3.55 a wash. That's a lot, man. That is a lot. That's more than Adams. That's more than gentle snow foam. I don't know, man. So just right off the start, I'm not exactly thrilled about that. And you can make your choice. <laughs> so that's pretty much it with this. All right, let's talk about Adams Mega Foam. Man, day after day, week, month, this might go on forever, man. Adams has just been doing it. It's been getting it done. It's been taking everybody down. And I'll tell you what, as soon as you pop it open, I know I do this every time, but if you're new, man, that smells good. See, I want a second smell. I'll even, there's a third one, man. You know what? It smells amazing. There's nothing at all about this that doesn't smell great. That's a huge deal. And you guys have seen it over and over. It goes on thick, it goes on really slick, it mixes easy, it cleans well, and it gives you that bubble of beauty around the car with the smell and the overall enjoyment factors through the roof with this product. Obviously, I'm a fan. How can I not be? I've bought every single major manufacturer out there, and we're here almost at the end of it with this product. So of course I like it. You guys like it too. You've been voting for it every week, so. I still believe, this is a good time to talk about this. I still believe in variety. I mean, look, I don't just use Megafoam every time. I mean, I'll grab, I'll grab the Ethos, I'll grab anything, man, off of there, and I'll enjoy it for different reasons. But in terms of this competition, there's no doubt about it that Adam's Megafoam is getting the job done, man. Okay, so Adam's at the time of the filming uh, on the money list checks in at $60 for a gallon. Now, the label recommended amount is two ounces, and that brings us to 93 cents a wash. But you know what? It doesn't matter what I say. It doesn't matter what each individual says. You know, out on the internet, you'll always find people preaching, Gian, 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 you know, and they're gonna live and die by this stuff. That's fine, but we all want some variety in our lives out there. So let's go out there, put it on the paint in our non-scientific, semi-consistent. <laughs> I'm doing it through my Karcher pressure washer. I got a new pressure washer coming too. So I'm trying to wrap up all this foam can and stuff because the new one's gonna be a whole different ball game. 
Mark my words on that one. But let's get out there, get it mixed up, get it put on the paint, and we'll see you. Yeah! Nice and slippery. All right, so that's what they look like on the paint. I have to say, man, the Gion foam did a, a, a darn good job, man. And looking at them side by side, it put some good foam on, man. It's gonna be a tough decision for you guys. I knew it would be. I'll tell you what, let's do a re quick recap. There's the Gion foam. Looking good, man. Good thick suds on there. Good cleaning power. Felt slick on the paint. I'll tell you what, when I poured it into the uh, to the mixing cup and into the foam cannon. It's really thin. It was easy to work with. The only real hang up, it just doesn't have that great smell. It's, it's okay, it's okay. I know if you bought it, you would go, it's not bad, it's not bad. But you're not gonna be like, oh man, that smells great. <laughs> so I just wanna be kinda, I guess I want to describe my criteria. <laughs> All right, so let's take another look at that Adam's Megaphone. Yeah, that stuff looks thick, man. Adam's Megaphone, it smells good. It went on thick. It went on really slick. Easy to use. All that neat stuff. Man, good product. You guys got a tough decision, man. So leave your winner down below. You want it to be the Megaphone or you want it to be the Gion Foam. And I still got a couple over there. I know I keep saying that every week, but more stuff keeps coming in. I got a couple good ones I'm looking at right now. It's got a good chance of taking down either one of these winners. So 
If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, man. Join the team. You know you don't want to mix that, miss that next foam cannon challenge and all the big, man, I got a couple huge garage things happening too, man. They're big. They're my biggest ones yet. Now, I don't want to spoil it. I want, want you guys to, when you see it, to be like, oh yeah, that's cool. But, you know, I don't want to let the cat out of the bag just yet, but, and you know what I mean. So, <laughs> all right. So. That's all I got, man, and we'll see you on the next one. I appreciate you stopping by and ask any questions you want. Links to everything down in the description. Anybody that buys this stuff, man, you know I appreciate it, and I'll see you on the next one. Yeah!